Warming up at the Rotary Bowl, Nanaimo track and field athletes Jason Clare and Alyssa Musso have been friends since they met here when they were only in grade five. He kind of showed me the ropes of how to go for PBs. PBs are basically a personal best. It's what you're always trying to strive for every single meet. It kind of taught me that it wasn't uh, all about winning, it was all about going for the best you could do. And that helps me seeing as I wasn't a very strong athlete until about, uh, I'd say, grade nine. While striving for their own personal bests, Jason and Alyssa had some big goals for themselves. My goal from the beginning of track was to try to make Team Canada. So I set my sights high and I told myself I'd try to make it in the 800 meters. I told all my friends, I was like, hey, that's, I want to make that. That looks awesome. That looks incredible. Grade 11, it was our first opportunity to try to make a national team. I was really on the cusp, and then I got the email from one of the Team Canada coaches saying congratulations. Yeah. Alyssa and Jason both made the cut and represented Canada at the World Youth yeah, Championships yeah. in Colombia this past July. It was the best experience ever. It seemed like there were so many people on how we were going to be able to remember everybody's name, but within a day, they became family. The experience was unreal. Just the entire time there, it was just, it was, it was like almost lost for words. It was just an honor representing your country. That was probably the best part about it, being able to wear the maple leaf and the flag, and it was just, yeah, it was incredible. Their experience on Team Canada fueled their passion and inspired them to push even harder. After making my first national team, it's just you're hungry for more. You want to make as many as you possibly can after that. So World Juniors is going to be a big jump. I have to jump a big PB next year just to make it. World Juniors next year is in Russia, so I'm hopefully going to try to make that team. I'm working extremely hard trying to make that. I'm also hoping to get a scholarship to some school. Alyssa and Jason both say they wouldn't be where they are today without the dedicated coaches and Nanaimo Track and Field, a non-profit volunteer organization that provides opportunity and training for all athletes to compete. It's good for everyone. There's, a, there's a, an event for everyone. You can, if you're not the fastest person around, you can always do throws. And if you're not the strongest person around, you can always do runs. You can, if you're gymnasts, often do pole vault. Track, honestly, it's such a special sport because it takes a specific type of person to be able to come out here every day and push themselves to the limit that we do. The people at track, everyone I've ever met has been the most happy and outgoing people and everyone just seems to click really, really well. It's a great place to be part of a team and to make a lot of new friends and it's just, it's a huge part of my life. Track and fields is basically my life, actually. Nanaimo Track and Field welcomes and encourages new participants and volunteers. More information about the various opportunities can be found on their website. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Kelly Robinson.